Hey everybody and welcome to Matt Becker Video. Tonight's episode is brought to you by Whale's Tail Pale Ale from Cisco Brewers in Nantucket. There's a red-tailed hawk. You can always tell a red-tailed hawk because they're the ones that do, They're first of all, they're pretty big and they do most of the soaring. So there's other types of hawks, but typically they don't just kind of glide along in the sky. They kind of just move quickly from one place to another. In school, besides studying geology, I also studied music. Sound is one of the most interesting fields, in my opinion, because vibrations are what make up life. The study of music is sort of the study of being alive. Any sound that occurs, doesn't matter what the sound is, there's the source at which the sound occurs, such as... I'm really bad at snapping. But all sounds exist in space. So anytime you hear anything, it's in the context of a space. And I think it's important to bring your awareness to the space that you're in whenever you are listening to a sound. In the same way, people are not just individuals. They're not just the sounds and the source of the sound. People are also the space in which they occupy. They are the time in which they occupy. We are all on this earth under circumstances. I don't quite know yet what direction this blog is heading in. Whether you're listening to music or you're listening to the words of someone else, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. It's important to know what it means to listen and what's required of someone in order to gain deep insights from that listening. This right here is called a burl, uh, spelled B-U-R-L. It's basically a tree tumor. Though I was raised Catholic, I don't necessarily believe myself to be a Christian, but damn if Jesus did not say some really smart, profound things. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Judgment implies that you're in a position to dispense judgment. It's always easy to find reasons to be divisive. Oh, ducks. These are not your typical ducks. These are, these are black ducks. I don't want to scare them, but I do want to look at them. Hello. That is a beautiful black duck. By making a judgment of like or dislike, you are forever trapped in that judgment. And in doing so, you are no longer seeing the world for what it really is. In reality, we are all just energy, converted into matter, arranged in a certain structure, and operating in a world where things appear to be outside us, rather than the reality of which we are all the one energy. I know, kind of heady stuff, but I feel like this, these types of things are important. It's important that we understand why we think the way we do and why we feel the way we do. Because how are we ever going to get anyone to understand our side if they can't know who we are and what we feel at our very root? At what point am I no longer myself? If you were to take my hand and you cut off my finger, am I still whole? Am I still Matthew? I would say yes. Okay, now what about my hand? No longer have a hand. Am I still myself? What about an arm? What about my legs? What if I'm just a head in a jar? Am I still me? Slowly as you start to take away the different aspects of yourself, you start to realize that what you call as yourself is really just an accumulation of things. So casting judgments is always a fruitless action because you're never gonna arrive at the truth of the matter. You're always gonna be trying to split something that's unsplittable. It would be foolish of me to write off every person that voted for Donald Trump as evil, and it wouldn't get me any closer to solving the, the issue at the heart of it. There is so much misinformation on all sides in this country, and we're all victims of this. If I can't even acknowledge who I am, what I am, why I feel and do the things that I do, then how can I say that anyone that makes the decisions that they do is wrong. Really just want people to admit when they don't know something. Is it so hard to just say, I don't know? I don't 
know the complexities of what it is I'm talking about. I may be on this blog trying to reach out to you, but I'm also saying to you now that I don't know the answers. Please make sure to like and subscribe. So recognize that we have a lot of work to do on ourselves. I think people are stubborn, and I think when you go on the offensive, they're likely to go on the defensive. We have to be open to the possibility that people can be more than what they currently are. Seltzer is very successful capitalism, and we all fell for it. I blog. But also, L.L. Bean is very successful capitalism, and I fell for it hard. We've got to maintain the flow of content. Let me blog for you. Let me be your blog. All I want is to be a better blog for you. It's Venus. I think the problem with this blog is the same problem with all my art.